Welcome back, MTG Joe here, uh, playing some more ranked uh, seasons over, new season starting for February, so we're going to try to get into Mythic again. Um, so I'm exploring a couple different control shells um, based around artifacts, oh, sorry, enchantments. Um, so we played one earlier today that's up on YouTube now. It is a mono white devotion control list, uh, so kind of playing around the enchantments. Uh, to power up a Heliode or play like tokens with Divine Visitation. So if you missed any of that, over an hour of gameplay there. A couple good matches we had going. Uh, this is a black-white Orzhov uh, kind of control Doom Foretold list. Um, so the deck that I've been uh, ranking up with and the one that got me tw likely top 1200 for January was Esper Doom Foretold. Um, so I'm trying black white, seeing if we can leverage a better mana base to be less painful. Um, I think Doom Foretold is a very uh, useful card right now. It can serve dual purpose against aggro decks with the amount of board wipes, but Doom Foretold is very good against blue white control, specifically uh, uh, Dream Trawler. Um, it's a way to kind of get it off the battlefield without targeting. So this list here, we're basically using Doom Foretold and a bunch of cheap enchantments to sacrifice to it. So we have Birth of Milites that can help us find lands and later be sack fodder. We have Golden Egg as a card draw that could then later be sacked. Um, we have Card Advantage in Treacherous Blessing, um, which generally has a downside, but in our particular deck, we can easily sack it to either uh, Doom Foretold or Final Payment. Uh, Final Payment is a two mana unconditional kill spell that you either have to pay five life or you sack a creature or enchantment you control. So it's another way to leverage our enchantments uh, to have more efficient removal. Uh, we have disruption in the form of agonizing remorse as uh, hand or graveyard exile. Murderous rider, Othakaya also serve as pseudo targeted removal and these all can be sacked. Uh, one Kaya or his office usurper can target your opponent's graveyard, gain you life. Works well with the cat oven, you can get the oven out of the way. And is, uh, if it goes unchecked, it is a win condition. Um, but she's more in here to try to see how, like, to keep our life total a bit higher. Uh, Elspeth Sun's Nemesis is a card that I do play in my Esper version as a one of. It's basically create tokens in a pinch, you could gain some life against, like, mono red. Um, but then you could just keep casting it again and again from your graveyard by exiling four cards. Um, so it's a good kind of sticky threat uh, to play over multiple turns. Um, and then, like I said, the Othakayas as your board wipes. Uh, Cavalier Dawn, I want to try it as a one of. Uh, it can blow up anything, and the nice thing is you can then sack it to the Doom Foretold. Uh, and then when it comes back, you can either get another Doom Foretold out of your graveyard or any of these other enchantments. Elspeth Conquers Death is a staple in pretty much all my white decks at this point. Uh, really useful card. You exile three or CMC or greater tax them, and then return any of our planeswalkers or creatures with a counter or an extra loyalty. Another card I want to try out is the god Aethros. Aethros, uh, Shroud Veiled, so this was the buy a box promo. Um, so it's not a creature unless your devotion is seven or more. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, you put a coin counter on target creature. Uh, whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or put it into exile, return that card on the battlefield under your control. So if we're getting your opponent to sack their creatures to Doom Foretold, with Aethros we can get those creatures back. Um, also with just all these kind of like stacks elements, we can just have a 4-7 attacker each turn that's indestructible. Liliana, great card. Also another way to get around Dream Trawler and can draw some cards. So you win through tokens with Doom Foretold, so it's a way to attack it. Mana base, pretty simple. You got your four duels, a couple Fable Passages, two of each castle, and then one mobilized district just in case we kind of flood or get our board clear. We've got a lot of legendary permanents, so we can deal with that. Sideboard wise, it's just a mix of good uh, black and white stuff. Color Hate and Devote Decree and Noxious Grasp, Hushbringer versus the ETB effect decks, to Spark versus the Big Mana decks, uh, Cry Carnarium versus Aggro, Et Extinction as another kind of hard removal spell with Exile, and a couple Heliodes Intervention to deal with. Uh, large amounts of enchantments or artifacts. So we were at plat four, I was playing a couple games offline in between. So let's play a game. We'll play one ranked of best of three and then a couple best of ones. Let's get it started. 
So as we wait for this match to kick off, as always, if you do enjoy the content, you're catching this on YouTube, it'd be great if you could leave a like, or if you haven't subscribed already, if you could do so. Uh, both are free and easy ways to help out the channel. And then if you want to know when we go live on Twitch, or if uh, you just want to show your support via Twitch, you can always just draw, uh, click follow. It's another free way to help out the channel. Uh, so this hand's not going to do anything. Oy. Can't keep this hand either. If we had a Bertha Melides, I'd keep this hand. Hey, Quantum. But I don't think we can keep it without... Like, if this was like a Godless Shrine and we had Bertha Melides and we just had to draw another land, I would. Alright, opponent... So this version over Esper is for a cleaner mana base. It's less painful. Um, whereas with Esper, you're gonna have to shock a little bit more. Um, also, wanted to just see if we can. I want to test out Aethros. Just try to play a kind of different strategy. So we're gonna keep the five here. I'm gonna put back the Cavalier and the Fabled Passage. I'm looking for a permanent. Perfect. So here we get to play two Castle Arden Vales, two, two Black Castles, uh, Lockthwain. So there's card advantage in our lands. We don't get that uh, bonus. Um, so we're just going to... I think we're going to Agonizing Remorse, see what the opponent's on here. That's fine. Let's get rid of Nisa. So it's like a green-white mid-range shell. So they can hush bring her here. So I want them to start sacking stuff to Doom Foretold. The first Ironian game. So this is one that I haven't seen too much on. So we're drawing a lot of lands, and this is part of the reason I wanted uh, Doom Foretold. Fortunately, we don't have our castles, so we're not getting that utility out of it. Imagine they get rid of the Hushbringer. This makes this a 4-4. Four, four. I think we just take the damage this turn. So we'll sack this. Ooh, how much do you cost to activate? Still think we want the scry. Does it say non land? So we can't animate this and sack to the doom foretold. Yeah, the malt to five and then drawing nothing but lands is kind of biting us so let's just play a little bit longer to see what the opponent's on still have like so the spark's going to be good in this matchup mm. don't think it matters here basically dead Just, I want to see what other cards to bring in because right now we've just seen like Hushbringer, Baronian. I want to see if they have more enchantments. Okay, they got could just be like a green white mid range. They got Bronze Hide Lion. So this is a Noxious Grasp matchup. Can deal with everything that they've been playing. Okay. 
So a little too late on the removal that one, but the multi five kind of got us in there. Um, so in this matchup, Noxious Grasp is good, Eat Extinction, and the Disparks. I don't think we want Hushbringer, and we didn't see enough for Heliod's intervention. Um, can get rid of Final Payment. Kaya's probably not that good in this matchup. And... On the play, we can get rid of the discard, maybe. I think we want more to play to the board. Like, they'll get their Nisa turned down. But we'll just play that. Because they have smaller creatures, like, they're going to play their creatures out. So I don't want to be... The discard's more for the slower matchups. Because in that game, like, we agonizing remorse, we took their Nisa, but they still got down two spells. So maybe we should have got rid of... Now it's just the multi five did us in there. It was hard to kind of keep up once you uh, you're down two cards and then we just drew lands. So we'll see post board we should serve a little bit better. Granted we have okay so this hand's good. Basically two lands into birth. I can follow that up with Othakaya to target one of their creatures. And then we have the Murderous Rider plan if need be. Okay, so it's just like green white stuff. So prefer if we can get a untap block source for their next threat. Otherwise they will get something a stick. Nothing's like great value. That's I would probably have gotten rid of the wall, to be honest. Um, this isn't the Nisa turn. So let's just set up the scry. I think having a board wipe would be good. So Lesnia getting a temple is actually really good for them. That was one of the downsides. So we can't exile this. Um, so the question here, we can gain indestructible. So I think we just fire off the wrath here. Because then they don't have anything to return it to the battlefield on. Just go like all removal, grind them out of value. That's cute. Um, do we just go E to extinction here? Get rid of Gideon, take the three damage there. Now E's probably better because it can get around the indestructible here. Destroy up to one target non-line permanent. I was gonna see if there was something of mine I can blow up then to get it back. So this might be Nisa coming down, just based on how they're tapping. And they got a questing beast. You're a 4 6, so you work nice with what's going on here.
So let's just do this. Because this can get back Othakaya when it dies, and then I can bring it back with Elspeth Conquer's death. So they Alpha Strike here. So I want this to die. So I could get it back with Elspeth Conquer's death. So Othakaya comes back. Oh, it comes back to hand. It's not as good. Put a counter on it. It enters the battlefield. Um, whatever, just target the token. We basically just used it to trade with the questing beast there. And now we have a 5 7. I'm going to get rid of this. And then we have Eat to Extinction for the Bronzeide Lion. This also has Vigilance, so it's a nice attacker in. So Cavalier is pulling some weight here. Uh, the nice thing is if Cavalier dies, we just get back Elspeth Conquer's death, and then you have a nice loop there. So Lion goes away. So now they can't just have an indestructible blocker. Um, I mean, more removal is just great at this point. We're going to win through our 5-7. They can make a token every turn, but there's not much utility there. Um, so I can do this. I can do, yeah. So I think we just Noxious Grasp here, play it out, and, or sorry, Murderous Rider here, play it out, and then I have uh, the Noxious Grasp left. So then it's another play afterwards. So even if they rip like Nisa or something. I actually like the castle here just because if we start drawing kind of cold on our future draws, we can just pump the mana in. Interesting, the opponent is taking the damage. They might be trying to uh, march of the multitudes. which is fine, because even if they march. So I can kind of blow them out like this, but I don't think that's really worth it, in my opinion. If we need to, we can crack Golden Egg. But otherwise, I make a 1 1 here. Sorry about that. Arena crashed on me. Um, so, opponent played the first Aronian games. Uh, kind of glitched through our turn, so we didn't get to create a token.
So we're going to kill whatever they put the counters on afterwards. So let's just make tokens here. Fakaya. So I think we just win here. Because I Noxious Grasp this, they can only make one token, some of the damage will get through, and we can take them out that way. Valero33. Valera33, thanks for the follow. Yep. Yeah. Got him here. Turns out when there's a card that says kill everything in your deck for two mana. That's fine. Oh, they go formation. Okay, you're still alive. They survive a turn. They get to draw a couple cards. Well played by the opponent. Let's see if we're punished here. So here, I think we get the land. I'm going to attack with everything. If they want to trade with my Cavalier, then I get back uh, my Elspeth Conquer's death, and then Elspeth Conquer's death can get back Cavalier. And then with the Cavalier, I can blow up my own Bertha Milides. And the fact that I can make two tokens a turn also bodes well. I need a castle. I get a gold token. Let's just add some mana. Oh yeah, get back oath. Thanks, Bowsy. That line's a lot easier. I'm trying to like six thought. Probably Anissa. Probably Anissa. That formation played well. So this is part of the reason why I like this uh, black-white version uh, from a mana base perspective better than the Esper one. So like we don't get access obviously to the Fairy or Ashiok. Okay, so Doom Foretold is pretty sweet. Um, let's see if they kill this and we just win. They can go with the Chump. Okay, 
So we basically win next turn unless they can somehow combo us. Yeah. They've had the two Sichna. Yeah, sack my own cab, but they've had the two situationally good cards for the moment. With Nisa, it's a little harder to get around. They've been grinding. Okay, so Otha, that gets them um, out of the range. And their graveyard's full, so they can keep Elspething. Because Doom Foretold would have either forced them to not draw two cards or take Nisa off the table. Yeah, they, uh, they're sneaking through this. Okay, so we got Murderous Rider. Murderous Rider's nice here. Let's take Nisa off the battlefield. Do I have a Doom in the graveyard? Again, just force them to keep sacking this token. 34 cards. Oh, I've lost plenty of games where the opponent's been at one. That's why, like, Othakai is an interesting uh, card for these types of archetypes because you can, like, have reach in a traditional, uh, like, removal spell that wouldn't. So they can bring this back now, gain some life. So I was hoping to this die. Um, Kaya would also be decent here. We could gum up the board pretty well so we can start attacking. They also already have some cards in exile. Then they got Amara. Black Castle would also be fine if we have to draw another land. Or, you know. I'm going to hold the land. Doesn't provide much utility. Let's see if they want to trade off a bunch of stuff. Assuming this is a March of Multitudes deck. Sweet. So the important thing here is this will exile Elspeth. So she ain't coming back no more. Again, it's just an attack every turn. They have to throw away a token. It's one less thing they can multitude if they do have it. Um, so here, one, two, three, four. So doesn't really, like I can't use multiple activations this turn, so let's pass this off like we have removal.
looking for some sort of card advantage. Knight of Autumn, what do you blow up? That's fine. This card's very good in the meta. They also could just have a formation turn. They've already shown that, so their team would get pretty chunky. So we've gone through both of our, that's good. That's a little risky though, because if they have a breakable formation, we're dead on the kickback. Get back Elspeth Conquer's death. Mm. I think we like they gotta have unbreakable. So Kai's Wrath leaves us that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's what I gotta play. Uh, I haven't played the Enigma deck yet. The Enigma Pod deck. Okay, so that's interesting. They're giving us back Night of Autumn. Are they giving us back thing? I think we wait one more turn. See how it goes. I just have a feeling they have formation and then we get kind of rocked because their board gets really big questing beast so now we're kind of forced into it Just trade like that. Actually, you come back. You block Amara. So this might get a formation out of them to keep their board alive. Okay, they don't. They just trade off most of the board. So I'm going to gain two life here. I'm going to try to Kai's Wrath. If they go Unbreakable Formation in response, I'm going to Noxious Grasp this. Oh, true. Formation's five. Good job, uh, Lion Salt. Thanks for reminding me. I always forget that middle mode. Oh, no, but they have the two mana here. Okay, they float it. Okay, so we almost still... We'll just end the turn, see if they attack in. We'll 
that's a target for grasp. Yeah, I know. I missed the initial like uh, tax effect. So I'm not going to Noxious Grasp this actually because we're getting Cavalier back. Sweet. Castle's really good here. Let's put a counter on it. Blow up Amara. Play out Castle. Say go. This one's been a grindy one. Conclave Tribunal. So I'm actually going to Noxious Grasp my own Cavalier. That way I get um, I get it into my graveyard. I get Birth of Melides back. And then I can just loop it again. Oh, shit. I didn't mean Birth. I meant to get the other one. Damn it. That's not the one I wanted. All the sagas look the same in the graveyard. So I'm just going to keep my life total high so I can draw an extra card. I'm trying to like fast play now. It's fine. We clean out the deck a bit more. Golden Egg. We can still got Doom Foretold going. Okay, we have Kaya's Wrath if things get out of control. Let's just pass the turn back. Because we get an 0-4 next turn. Alright, so we're going to get hit by Questerson. Just block here. Oh yeah, like the amount of times I draw into like Narset or uh, Teferi. Or I'll try playing instant Teferi or draw an extra card. It's just getting three life here. Actually, to spark sweet, because now I don't have to Kaya's Wrath. I can keep it for when they have a bigger turn. Opponent's at 13 minutes. And they're at 26 cards, we're at 27. So you should probably just start attacking them. This is why I like the castle, so we can't do this in the other version. So I'm actually just going to do this to get rid of this. That way I don't have to deal with the 3-3 three, three every turn. So I'm just going to play quick because about that. I don't know what's up with the client today. It's being real glitchy. Which sucks because we lost a bit of time there. Activating these castles is taking. Okay, that's actually good. Elspeth lets us go wide here. And we should have this one wrapped up. 
I'm going to throw out the Doom Foretold as well. It causes the opponent to lose life. So they'll sack the tribunal. Hey, we only got 10 minutes or so to win the next one. Just do this. I'm not gonna draw a card. So they have to block these bigger ones, otherwise they're dead. And then we'll just attack in. Okay. So we got them. That one took a lot longer than it needed to. Oh, I took Kai out. Ah, it's fine. Hey, Prof. Prof. Lagana, it's going well. Line Salt and Teo Sohet, thanks for the follows. Arena, the client, has been a little uh, temperamental today, um, but this is game two, so I'm gonna keep this. We got Melides. We got Doom Foretold. Gonna get a white source here. Probably go birth the Melides because it gives us blockers. And we got Caius Wrath, so that's a nice catch up. So we're a little against the gun clockwise, so I'm gonna be playing a little bit quicker than I normally would. Alright, they got Gids. It's fine, that gets caught up with Doom Foretold. They also can't make this indestructible and they don't have anything to put it on. Throw this in front there. Next turn I go Doom Foretold and then it gets rid of their other stuff. So we're just going to try to play as quick as possible. Grind them out of resources here. So they can put the lion on the Gideon. Hit us that way. Ah, I got mystical repeal. That one hurts. Okay, so they didn't activate Gideon, which is weird. Um, I think this turn I'm just going to Kaya's Wrath. And then say go. I need to find something to deal with this Gideon. So we'll probably Okay, so Doom Foretold's actually not bad there, but they have quite a bit on board. Uh, so I actually think this turn I need to see if we can get one of our removal spells. Okay, we don't. I'm gonna go mobilize district here and just play out Elspeth. Make some tokens. They do get to draw some cards here, which kind of sucks. 
Because they've almost caught up to us on clock. Ay, 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 ay. This card has been really bad, like really hurting for us. So we block the seven. I'm gonna keep. So they're not gonna give it vigilance. It'll be likely be life link. Yeah, they're behind on us on clock. They can also down tick on our doom foretold to exile it. So let's just soak up damage here. Problem is we're like dead like four different ways. Or that helps, that helps a lot. That gives us a buffer. Let's go Malides, get another blocker. Play it out and say go. Interesting because they can down tick this on uh, Elspeth to get rid of her indefinitely because we have enough cards in our graveyard to get her back and then just keep making tokens to jump with. If, that, if our first Doom Foretold stuck then we would have been in a lot better position. Because at this point like Eat for extinctions, probably not going to be enough. There is a chance they run at a clock. They're at 734, we're at 850. We get another blocker here. They can exile it with Gideon though. Um, so the nice thing is I can animate my land here because we have a legendary we have a couple legendary permanents, so I can use that as an additional blocker. Got to have another Nisa. I'm gonna sack my Elspeth to Doom Foretold. That's fine. That is fine with me. It's my dog's dinner time. Just getting antsy. So they go into the attack here. So they can hit us for four this turn. Okay, attack. Yeah, attack Elspeth. I want her dead. Nah. So wish we had a little bit more life. Uh, so we could have taken out the forest. Get rid of Elspeth here. Hoi, okay, so devotions one, two, three, four, five, six. You're not a creature. Eat to extinction. Eat to extinction takes out Gideon. 
they hit us for exactly seven. I get that. Okay, so we need to do this on the opponent's turn. So they had the repeal, because I wanted them to see what they sack there. So Eta Extinction can get rid of Gideon, but it doesn't get us out there. That one sucks. Felt like we could have had it. Because here I gain three life, but we're taking uh, seven, nine. Because if they didn't have the repeal, And their time's fine. Yeah, they got it. Ah. That was close. Repeals got us. Let's run it for a best of one. See how that goes. If you like grindy decks. Because the problem. So I think I messed that up because if I would have kept Elspeth, I would have had a 5-7 left um, because I would have had enough devotion for a Aethros. Green one mana instance from the sideboard. My, my bane. Uh, this is good against creatures. So let's hopefully play against a mono red deck and we're playing blue white control, which is not where we want to be. Okay, we're going to keep Doom Foretold. Hard cast Fay of Wishes. It's an interesting technique. So I'm just going to go face here. I want something down for when I Doom Foretold next turn. Hopefully it doesn't get countered. Oh, this is Jeskai Fires. Which actually has a pretty terrible Doom Foretold matchup. I can, I think we just start getting this going. They're likely going to sack the Fae. Keeping fires around is important for them. Ah, they got Conqueror's Death. So my other thought was Agonizing Remorse. So let's see what's going on in opponent's hand. Oh, actually, shit. I should have got um, that out of the graveyard. I'm playing bad now. Okay, so we have another Agonizing Remorse for the following turn at least. We can get Fae of Wishes out of the graveyard. This could be Nico Bolas. Yeah. I punted this one. Let's take out the Fey. Oh wait, not oh okay, you know what? Screw this. I really dislike agonizing remorse's interface. It doesn't even give you an opportunity to see what's in their hand. We obviously would have taken the Kenrith there. Kenrith is a lot more impactful of a card. Uh, 
uh, we'll keep this hand. It's a little awkward mana-wise. So this temple, we're going to try to find a basic. Because I want to be able to birth the Melides next turn. Starfield Mystic. Cool, cool. So we do have the nice play of Treacherous Blessing and Final Payment as removal. We got Tef. Um... I think we just final payment kill Starfield Mystic. So kill you, sack you. I don't really care about the two life. Play that tap. Or it comes to play on tap. So that comes out. Um, like they likely have a counter spell here, so let's try to bait them with Treacherous Blessing. Okay, so they don't. I'll take the card draw. Did they discard? Nyxborn Ancient. Okay, so I think if they're showing creatures, we want the board wipe. So they might not be playing counters. This might just be like a combo. Okay, Minami's Prophecy. So now we could stick Doom Foretold. They have Agonizing Remorse. Um, you know what, actually, let's, let's take a turn here. I'm going to gain the life anyways. I want to get Teferi off the board. And then let's just take a look what's in the opponent's hand. Opponent's hand is straight gas. Um... Get rid of the banishing light. So my guess is they're gonna name Teferi here. They name Starfield Mystic. Crack this, get another white source. And then just cast the golden egg. Okay, Liliana's nice here. So either they don't get the card draw, they get rid of their creature, or they lose this to fairy for no value. pretty sweet to be honest because like even if they just Teferi bounce Doom Foretold it's not really much value oh they got the Conqueror's Death okay um we've been taking quite a bit of damage gonna Kaya's Wrath here. I'd rather do this when I can uptick it. And I'm just gonna crack this on end step to gain some life. Oh you know what? Because the tax here 
Middle Saga, always getting me. Okay, so we, we have a removal spell, or we just cast Elspeth this turn. Let's just sack this, insulate our life total a bit. So not the most value, but it protects us a bit. And then if they want to attack it, then we gain some life anyways. Okay, they scry. Because really what they can do here is with Teferi, they can bounce one of it. They get back Teferi or Starfield? Well, they get Nyxborn Ancient. Okay. Is that maybe the plan of the deck? Like reanimate it with thing? Keep both on top. They got oodles of mana. How do they win? Okay, they Fae of Wishes. Or Mirror Maid. Mirror Maid becomes a copy of Nyxborn Ancient. Or, okay, it's fine. I got another Kai's Wrath. Just play this out. Play it out. Cool. Shields down. Wipe their board. Let's keep you alive. So let's just board wipe here. I'm just going to take the fairy off the battlefield. Even if they have another ancient, I can um, just Liliana and then get rid of it. I go thirst for meaning. Seems pretty all in. Okay, so they got Conquer's Death. That gets rid of my Elspeth. That's no good. So doing this now so I can get my token. It's painful, but I need to do this. So I can start attacking in with lifelink. Keeping Liliana alive also gives me something to do for the down tick so I can deal with the Nyxborn Ancient. Sweet, doom foretold. So they'll just sack the Birth of Miletes here. So one of the downsides of this card is if your kind of strategy gets burnt, you get stuck with taking a lot of damage. So this will go away. So they don't get a blocker here, but they will get Nyxborn Ancient back and access to a ton of mana. If they have time wipe, I just draw a bunch of cards. Okay, they go to fairy. To fairy can go bounce my doom foretold. 
You bounce a zombie back. Ladies. So let's get rid of the card that makes our life a pain. Uh, so we can't quite ultimate Liliana just yet. Uh, blue white doesn't traditionally like they could have brazen borrower, but if they have brazen borrower, they have it. Draw a card here. We should have this one, unless they have some weird combo that we weren't aware of. Okay, well, I kept something on top. Bay of Wishes, Planar Cleansing. Okay, they got Planar Cleansing. We get a bunch of draw triggers though. Othakaya is lethal. Okay, we got him still. So, Animate District. Go to combat, and our black white burn spell for the win. Got him. Okay, that was a little redeeming. We lost a couple close ones uh, by the skin of uh, the teeth. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Appreciate everyone for stopping by. If you missed any parts, I'll cut the three because I crashed twice. I'll cut it into one video, upload it to YouTube. Uh, and that'll be up on Sunday. Um, otherwise, thanks for stopping by and have a great one.